I can show you the world, shining, shimmering splendor. Tell me, princess, when did you last let your heart decide a whole new world? Don't you dare close your eyes. Yes, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Rusty Gears Vintage Story server. I am, of course, your old Papa Cheddar. And, um, oh, look at that. It looks like I'm running out of fuel for my old airship de doo right here. And I do believe that they um, added some new stuff here, like their storage. I don't remember any of this stuff here. You know, I can lock it and stuff. And uh, yeah, maybe, oh yeah, the turbo boost works again. Well, I need to, I think I need to build this bar up. But anywho, oh, look at that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm driving backwards. I'm driving backwards. How is that? Oh, there we go. Little snap back into action there. <laughs> All right, here we are in the old HQ. So I got a bunch of boxes here. There's a few more. Well, these, these ones are empty. I moved a lot of them upstairs to the landing platform already. But these are going to be the boxes that we, um, Put into the mystery box. So a lot of good crazy stuff. And the top. There we go. God, just look how it launches you. I love that. Okay, so anywho. Yeah, we're loading up some stuff here. Look at this. We got iron ingots, iron bloom. Oh, I can't shift click. Okay, iron ingots, iron blooms. We got stacks of copper, sticks. Oh, soy soybeans. Uh, that's right. You don't want to get the box with soybeans. Or do you? You might. I don't know. Shoot. I mean, it depends on what you're after, I suppose. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of really good stuff inside of these mystery boxes. And look at this. Iron nuggets. Mm, that's about two. Two blooms worth, baby. Oh, guy, whoever gets some of these boxes, is um, they're going to be in for a good time. And look at this. There's also going to be like dirt and gravel and ah, an armor stand. Anywho, yes, good stuff. Some dummies. Some lot chalk, some salt, all kinds of stuff. Leather. Oh, God, I really, this is such a, such a good idea. I think so anyway. All right, let's take off and let's, um, let's get over to the area. I got to make a couple of trips and, um, oh, dang it. You know what? I could have filled up my inventory with even more stuff. Ah, uh, now we've gone too far. We've gone too far. Okay. I'm just, I got to move all this stuff over. Then we'll get stocking, baby. Hmm. We had some cats trying to sneak a peek at the old mystery box. That'll teach him. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. All of these boxes are completely filled up with a random accoutrement of uh, items. And uh, some of them are worth way more than what I'm going to ask. Some of them are worth far, far less. But that's the fun of it all. That's the random. You got to guess a good box and, uh, you know, stick with your choice. So here along this wall and this wall, I, I changed it up a little bit. So those two walls are going to be five rusty gears a pop. And then this wall right here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these puppies are all worth 10 rusty gears. And one of them, one of them, ladies and gentlemen, is worth a lot, lot stinking more than 10 gears. Actually, pretty much all of them are worth, in my opinion, more than 10 gears. Um, but, you know, I guess that depends on what the, uh, you know, who gives what to the... Um, Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like the uh, the trade um, bargain bin or whatever. You know what? Uh, you know, like stonks, stock market, right? It's like, what's it really worth? You know, just the value we give it. Yeah. Anyway, okay. There we go. I gotta I gotta do some charcoal writing. Brought my handy dandy charcoal. Here we go. And um, time to finish up this store. Mmm. All right. Here we go. Look at that. Ten gears written down. Five gears. We got our sweet beautiful payment box. Mmm. Five gears and Oh, well, apparently I did that one wrong. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well, here we go. And then around the front here, we have the instructions. That's better. I had to get some light. Welcome to the mystery box. Pay Rusty Gears for the chance to win big. Without looking, you must choose a pile of dirt to dig up. Behind that dirt is your prize. 
The mystery boxes contain a wide variety of goodies. Some are worth way more. Some are worth far less. Are you feeling lucky? A Papa Company shop. Or Papa Corp. I don't know. I couldn't fit a Papa Corp shop on there. So we're Papa Co now. Anywho. <laughs> oh, God. I really hope people enjoy this game. I mean, what do we got here worth? That's uh, five, uh, twin. We have 50 rusty gears worth of, um, of, uh, what's it? You know, of, um, uh, profits, profits to be made with our glorious capitalism, baby. Mm. And yeah, so people just come in. Well, let me stick that. There we go. It's dark in here. People just come up, be like, ooh, I want this box or ooh, I want this one. Yeah, dig up and then bam, there's their prize. They get to pick that box, whichever box they dig up. Now, as soon as you dig up a, bo a box, all sales are final. That is your box. It's the honor system and you got to well, you got to pay the pop right there. That's right. Pay the pop a cheddar. No, I, re I really should put some more lighting in this place. It's it's really dark. Uh, I mean, I guess I could sacrifice. This lantern was for my, uh, my airship, but I think it needs it. Yeah, this really brightens up the place a whole heck of an awful lot. So, um, well, let's open up for business right here. Oh, it's daytime outside. I didn't even notice. Maybe we should get a skylight. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, I still need to come back and and fix up this place. It's a little bulky. Or a little boxy. <laughs> yeah, it's a little boxy. But anywho, what is left, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I'm glad you asked. Aggressive marketing. That's right. We got to market aggressive. And for that, um, well, we're going to take it to the streets, baby. We're going to take it to the streets. So, uh, well, our first victim's right here. Pop over to the mystery box. Meow open. A Papa Company shop. <laughs> It's popping at the mystery box. Meow open, a Papa Company shop. Beautiful. He can't miss it. He can't stink and miss it. Why did the weasel pop? To shop at the mystery box. Meow open, a Papa Company shop. Oh, yes. Are you seeing a theme here, ladies and gentlemen? Are you seeing a theme? 10 out of 10 pops agree. The mystery box rocks. We'll have ones like this along the path here. Almost there. Go to the mystery box. Oh, I'm hungry. Pop, lock, and drop it at the mystery box. It's a popping good time at the mystery box. I, I gotta be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, I've been I forgot which ones of these I've used. I wrote down a list of these like pop puns. Come on, can I get in there, please? Come on, let me in there. There we go. Uh, yeah, I wrote down a list, um, but I'm not keeping track of the ones I've been using. And um, well, I your old pop here is rather forgetful, but that's okay. We got one more person, and I got one more pun. <laughs> And look, there she is now. <laughs> we'll just do a quick little drop in. And a uh, boop and a boop. Okay, and um, don't be a dummy. Shop at the mystery box. There you go. All right, and now I speed away into the sunset. That's how you make a daring escape right there, ladies. Look, she's reading the sign. Oh, perfect. Yes. I think we just earned ourselves a customer. <laughs> there we go. The mystery box open for business. Did a, just a, a tiny little bit of chiseling around the handle and the lock there. Because um, it was it was just too bulky. You know, now this doesn't look great, right? But... It looks it looks good enough and I'm happy with that. I think that is so stinking good. The question mark right there. Oh, that's a good job right there, baby. I I'm happy with that. OK, so now that the mystery box is open, we've done our aggressive stinking marketing. We'll we'll see if that works. We'll see if people appreciate the puns as much as we you, know, you and I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> anywho. What I'm going to do now is time travel into the future because this is the last of my uh, weekend playtime. So now we'll let the mystery box shop run for, uh, you know, about a week and then we'll check back in. For me, it'll be about a week for you guys. Well, it'll be the next scene. So here you go. Let's go ahead and time travel into the future. Ooh. All right, here we are in the future. And oh, no, I think I think I'm going to be sick. Uh Oh, oh. <laughs> Phew, man, time travel really, uh, really makes a guy queasy, huh? <laughs> oh, that was gross. Okay, well, let's check out how we've done in the old mystery box. All right, here we go. And, dun dun, oh, there's a one, a two, a three, and a four. Four sales. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, more sales? Did they? Oh, I, I, they put the dirt back right here, apparently. I got one, a two, a three, a four, a five, five. There's six here. Three of the tens? Where's the, oh, I see right there. Okay, so well, let's just, let's get rid of this dirt here, shall we? I think, uh, I think we shall. All right, so hey, the rusty gear, or not rusty gear, the, um, oh my God, what did I call this place? The mystery box. We've gotten 45 gears, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, look at that, that's swimming in money. Who the heck are you? Hi, hi. And there we go, bye guy. <laughs> that's how that's done. So the, the mystery box is a raven success. Well, there's a new shop here right behind old Papa's provisions. Huh. Okay, well it looks quaint, it looks cute. Well, I kinda, I was gonna expand this back there, but I guess that plan's gone and over with. Oh, uh, Eric, we're not expanding anymore. Yeah, it's okay. We'll uh, we'll figure something else out. Hey, a whole bunch of new shops coming on. All right, nice. Well, that is exciting. So today, let's start things off with going around and finding a few of the meteors and uh, digging them up that I have found throughout my goings on in the world here. So without further ado, let's jump in the old airship, which, you know, actually, we got to name this puppy. What's a good name for this? How about Lightning Talon? Oh, I kind of like that. Lightning Talon or Lightning Phoenix or Viper Sting and Viper Claw. I don't know. We'll come up with something. It's got to be something that's like super 80s, I think, you know. Good old Viper Claw. I'm not in. There we go. Come on. There we go. Now we're in. Um, I got seven minutes of fuel. That's not going to be enough. Um, oh, I can do this. I believe I can make some fuel right now. Boop. Not that. Boop, there it is. Okay, we got 15 minutes. That's going to be plenty. And if it's not, then I guess we're uh, stranded. Okay, so the very first meteor is... Da, 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 meteor here. Pin, save. Okay, off on adventure. Shoot, I forgot to bring lanterns. <laughs> uh, that's good. We're flying in the dark, but look at my rocket engines. Meow. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. All right, the meteor's in hand. Let's go ahead and get the stink out of here. All right, so we got 31 iron meteorite pieces, and uh, I took four of the the blocks themselves. I don't know why, but I really, I really enjoy taking just the blocks there. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a uh, it's a fun little like collector's item or something. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. It's all right. Let's go throw these puppies in uh in the thing. So these each make six, I do believe. Well, these one, this one won't. Yeah, whatever. Okay, well, you know, with uh, getting meteors out of the way, that's that's a pretty dang good start, I think. I really ought to do my chores here at the farm. So, ah, yeah, I really ought to do my chores here at the farm. I'll see you guys in a second. Ah, stay. Phew, all right, that's finally stinking done. Uh, you know, I think I have so much food here that I could, I'll just never, ever, ever run out. And you know what? That's okay. I'm all right with that. And... Here we go, meteor, iron, mete meteoric, there we go, I can I can talk. Meteoric iron ingots, oh, I don't know where to put them. Uh, here, you're moving, and actually you guys are moving too. There we go, and there it is. Look at these beautiful, beautiful mother lovers right there. Oh, oh, it's so good. I gotta spend some, yeah, we'll put that right there. I gotta spend some time and go through some more crafting. I gotta... I gotta go get the rest of the iron. I still got these blooms. I can break these down. I got all kinds of crazy schmelting stuff I can do. Um, but there's a cave that's below my house. So I kind of want to go check that out, clear it out, and, uh, you know, see if we can't find anything crazy fancy and possibly dangerous down there. So let's go ahead, zoom over to the, the abode and get rocking on the caving adventures of Papa Cheddar's abode. 
Ah, uh, there it is, our beautiful landing pad. God, I just, I absolutely love this thing. <laughs> Although I still, like I say this almost every episode, I think, but I still really, really have to finish the base here. Um, yeah, I got to. Eventually, it's it's going to happen eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Look at this. I had to make a brand new box just for flax. Look at all this flax. Oh, I got it coming out the wazoo, ladies and gentlemen. It is... Not bad. I uh, I should honestly start think about selling flax. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I re I really need to re um restock Papa's provisions. Um, yeah, I got to. I need to be need to be better at that. <laughs> Ooh, I don't have a spear either. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. um well, I have a cruddy sword. Yeah, I guess uh I guess I got a cruddy sword. That'll That'll do. Now then, the time is nigh. So if we come through here, da, 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 I got, I made this little nook for temporal storms and stuff. Um, but no, the rest of what we want is in here, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and make sure that they cannot spawn on us as we're going down deep into the depths for our adventure. Oh, hey, whoa, surprise mother lover. Ooh, deep drifters. Okay, I wish I had a spear. Wish I had a spear, but no, I just have a credit. Okay, axe time. Axe time. Viking axe club. Viking axe club. Ah, ah, I'm taking a taking a bit of a beating here, boys and girls. Ah, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, I don't even. Dang it, I don't have a knife. Okay, retreat. Retreat. Run away. <laughs> this is what uh, you know, being prepared looks like. Yeah, let this be a lesson to you. We're always prepared here. All right, let's try this again. I think we'll take the high road up this away and see what we can see. Oh yeah, that's right. I uh I've been here. Yeah. Okay. So this is the uh, uh the rest of the cave here basically. Da, 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 da. Dun dun dun. Have I been in here too? Oh yeah, that's right. I found ruins in here. God, I have a really bad bad memory. I've kind of been here. I haven't explored the whole stinking thing. Hey. Salt peat. Tur. Da, ba, da, ba. What's What's behind door number pack dirt? Oh, there was water there. Yeah, that's right. I came down. Okay. It's all coming back to me. Slowly but surely. And there's probably certain death here. Hey, what's that? Oh, hey, I found certain death. Ha! Ah. God, the sword sucks. Sword sucks. That's why we are a part of the axe club. Oh, God, this is a, this is a really big... Ha! Ah. This is a really big cave. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Wow, the big gang's all here, huh? <laughs> and the gang's all dead. The only good drifter is a dead drifter. Ah, who, who, where? Oh, I see you. Hi. I'll be right with you. Okay, you want to dance, fancy man? Huh? Um, yeah, I can. I can get back up here if we go like this. And hello, nice to make your acquaintance, son of a gun. Captain Insano shows no mercy. That's right. I'm gonna summon my inner Captain Insano. There we go. Oh, you're a you're a scary one. Okay. Okay, things are getting real now, ladies and gentlemen. Things are getting stinking real. Um. Okay, I'm kind of kind of stuck in a rut and I got drifters around me. Okay, well you're dead. Okay. Um charge, charge. Okay, we got a few hits. All right, time for the jousting technique. Ah. That's all right. That's all right. Oh. Right, these guys really, really hurt. Ah, oh, okay, yep. 
There we go. Ooh, and nothing. He gave me nothing. Okay, well, um, let's press on into the darkness. Hey, titanium ore. That's cool. Um, not that we can really do anything with that. Um, oh man, this goat cave goes stinking deep. Whoo. I'm sweating right now. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to go down there just yet. I don't have I don't have ladders. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I don't have ladders. I don't remember where I came from. Um, but let's go this way. Oh, hey. Hey, more titanium ore. Nice. Although I don't think we'll be on this server long enough to, you know, for titanium ore to be input into the high. You're scary. Be input into the game. Try a bean aid, sucker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That might have backfired. That might have backfired. Okay, wait. Nope, it's getting him. Try another one. There we go. Bean aid, sucker. Uh oh, wow. Oh, that one back did backfire. He's walking through the gauntlet of bees. And he looks unscathed. Okay, good. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, get him, my minion bees. Go, minions. Yes, look at that. Bees. Ha 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 ha. Fly, my pretties. Okay, that did nothing. These bee bombs are really, really ineffective. Um, I mean, it's funny to watch them getting swarmed by bees, I guess, but that's about it. Ah, there we go. We got a hit there. Ouch. Okay, God, this guy hurts. Here we got him. We got him. Good job, my little pretties. Good job, my beely bros. Okay, let's press a little bit further into the depths of the darkness. Now we're out of bees. Oh, they're still... Oh, ha, ha, ha. Angry bees in a cave. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that's what you want, right? <laughs> There's bees that way. Oh, God, I'm surrounded by bees. Oh, God, this is a creation of my own doing. Why have I done this? Ah, bees, bees, bees. Bees. No. Ah, ah. Okay, we... Our only recourse is to press deeper into the darkness. Ah, I guess. Wow, this is scary. Ooh, olivine. Nice. Ah, bees. Bee. Well, what do you know? Looky, looky what I found here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice. Okay, let's, um, boop, boop, boop. Let's block this puppy off so we're a little bit safer. Neato burrito, dude. We found a transmicator. Transmicator. There we go. Right here. Transmicator. Oh, and what, uh, what level are we at? We are at 75. Oh, that's cool, and it's like right next to our house. We could build like an easy-ish tunnel uh, around this puppy. Um, oops, place and break to upgrade to new crate. So if I break this, will I get it? Yes, I will. Yes, I sure will. And some rusty gears for our trouble. And, uh, and okay. Well, that's cool. We got some storage crates. We found a transmicator. Um, so all in all, not a bad little... John, I was just about to give up, quite honestly. <laughs> um, but we rounded the corner and we found our prize. Nice, dude. Okay. Well, let's, uh, okay, we've been down there. It's a bunch of what, peat up here? Or salt, salt peat? Ah, someone's growling at me. There's always growling in here. It's a really spooky place. I think I'm ready to leave. <laughs> um, I don't remember how to do that, though. So, maybe we just dig our way out? I don't know. I mean, we could. Nothing really saying we can't. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. We're going to, we're going to do this. Cause I'm a smart guy. We're gonna dig up, up, up and away. And um, hope that we have enough dirt for this, which we probably don't. Oh, you know, ah, ha ha. Okay, I was just about to say, you know what? We're gonna have gravel here soon. Um, oh my god, look at that! <laughs> nice, dude, our base is right here next to the thing. If we could just, we could build like some sort of access tunnel. Oh, that's cool. Wow, talk about a good quality placement. And now we just got to, I guess, essentially open it up. Where's my door? Okay, well, not bad. We got a bunch of saltpeter there. Let's go ahead and separate these puppies. We got some more metal scraps. Some more rusty gears, some storage crates, these things. 
So all in all, not a bad little haul here today. I mean, you know, the cave was disappointing until we found that transmicator that's literally like right next to our house, maybe less than 40 blocks away. So, you know, we can't complain about that. We'll have to do some random evading. I do need, I don't have all the stuff I need to, of course, repair the transmicator. Uh, but, you know, that can be that can be worked on. So uh, between Meow and the next episode, I got a little work to do. Got to remake some more tools, uh, you know, get into the iron and meteoric iron age, essentially fully stocked up on those bad boys. Got a ton of cooking to do. Like I didn't even redo all my bees. I just placed a bunch of brand new skeps kind of thing. So, ooh, still got to deal with all that. May make a new box here, a storage box for all the the honeycomb that we're making because that's a lot of stuff and of course restock the old papa's provisions and um you know maybe even the mystery box because we're getting we're dwindling on those too people seem to be liking the mystery box and i got a couple new games that i think i want to create which we may end up doing in the next one may make it like a mini game special or something yeah i was asking all the members of my discord what uh what fun mini games could there be to do and, uh, well, there were a lot of good ideas. So if you guys have got any ideas for a sweet little mini game, why don't you go ahead and join Papa Cheddar's Discord and drop them in there for me to, uh, you know, stew on and implement here in our lovely world of the Rusty Gears. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed your time here today. If you did, slap a like down below on the video. If you didn't, you know, throw a dislike. That's all good, too. And don't forget to subscribe to Papa Cheddar Gaming. We'll catch you on the flippity flop. And as always, I love you. Bye.